As you've seen throughout our broadcast, creating career options is essential for today's youth. Special needs students are no exception. Preparing these young people for a life of independence can require special training in a variety of areas. The goal is to identify opportunities and teach the skills necessary for jobs that can provide both social and economic needs for years to come. For nearly 50 years, ECLC of New Jersey, or Education, Careers, and Lifelong Community for Children and Adults, has been doing just that. They prepare these young people for the journey from school to a meaningful job in a program they call Transition. My name is Maria Gonzalez, and I've been to ECLC for seven years. I'm a little nervous and a little bit scared to be myself growing up, but mostly I'm very, very excited because I have confidence. And ECLC helps me to be more responsible, caring, hardworking, and I am so ready to like work out a community and show them what I got. Transition is probably one of the most important pieces of our program and the most critical piece of our program because you can educate someone and bring them to a certain point, but unless they have the skills to navigate the world after the age of 21, you haven't done your job. Everyone over 10 years old uh, participates in the skill program. Our intent is to impart any kind of skills that will help our students in their future uh, after school. Uh, whether it be work or in a program or, or even around the home or community. And because no matter where they go, they're going to have to follow directions, get along with others, uh, be part of a team. Uh, and those are the kind of skills we try to have the students learn while they're here. When I work with the kids, I hope to be able to get them to move on to the next phase of their life and hold a job if possible, or just be able to live on their own and, and be a productive human being. I have to say the relationship between ECLC and Goodwill is something that I'm grateful for. The teachers are amazing. How they explain to them what they need to do and the steps they take to do it. Our goal is to find the best possible fit for every student. Some of them will be working with CPS after graduation in supported employment jobs. Some will go to Pride and some will go to other day programs of their choice depending on which is the best fit for them. My name is Michael Dawson. I've been working here at Shepherd for eight years. I love my job. I bag the groceries. I, I, try, not to, I try not to squish the uh, bread. I separate the eggs instead. Because people don't want to go home with scrambled eggs. Mike Swan, uh, Associate of the Month, I think twice, uh, and it was for outstanding work with customers and uh, going above and beyond, helping them out to their car. There's a couple times customers left items behind, like their wallets, and he's handed it in. It's a win-win situation. Uh, we have, you know, a student who's there really wanting to work with a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of energy, and certainly the, the employers benefit from that. Pride was started in 2008 because there was a lack of programming for adults that had developmental disabilities. We encourage our clients to make decisions. We help them become confident with those decisions, guide them, and facilitate them towards independence and what they want to do with the rest of their lives. When our clients have that independence, experience that independence, and show that independence, it is a very wonderful, priceless experience for the families, for the clients, and the world around us.